Targeted Advocacy, Tara Art, A New Art Movement by Celia Senaida Abor. Visual artists today is, are more than just a special group. They must come to terms with the challenges of new, fiercer, unpredictable world with the pressures to care for a cause is a responsibility. The world has so changed that it's no longer doable to just put on meaningless art, um, flying urinals, cigarette butt wall of China, you can make art from, from garbage. That sort of thing is already dated and dubious. Around me, I'm surrounded by my paintings, which are part of my Tara Art movement. Tara Art, what is that all about? This is the first launching of the Tara Art movement that I am initiating. Tara Art is simply this. It's in your face advocacy to save this species like the Dogon, the whale shark, the Napoleon Ross, the rhino, all these creatures in the forest of the Philippines specifically, the black coral, the refulsia, and the great white. Now, what is Tara art? And what compelled me to paint these huge murals in such a short period of time from July to now? Outrage. Just pure, tremendous outrage, which started early this year when a couple of container vans were discovered to have contained hundreds of sea-going turtles and tons of black corals. Do you know, of course, that sea turtles are terribly, critically endangered, and so are the black corals, and so are the rhinos, and so are this. I thought that, oh, maybe I can do something about it. Years ago, I had invented a set of playing cards into which I already had put in my advocacy for species conservation and preservation. These were small cards, very small cards. Into these playing cards, I incorporated my advocacy for species preservation and conservation. And in 2010, December 2010, these playing cards were granted U.S. patent. These brain cards were granted U.S. patent. And so I was not only overjoyed, I knew that three cards which carried my advocacy in, in endangered species preservation, conservation, and rehabilitation was going to go worldwide. My playing cards, look at how small they are, it's the size of my owl, oh, 2.75, 3.75 were so small, I said, I have to do something about it. But I was not going to, to do a painting on canvas, but I knew I had to work on something. Then came another news about a serpent eagle being shot, down, being shot. You know, serpent eagles are so critically endangered. They're almost on the verge of extinction. So, and then there were more news 272 rhinos killed, sharks being eaten for their fins, and residents of Hong Kong have demonstrated against the slaughter of these incredible creatures, the, the shark. And so one day in July, I decided that if I was going to take up the biggest challenge of my life as an artist, that I was going to do murals huge 9 by 8, 7 by 8, 4 by 8. So I began working on an ambitious project. And I started work on these two huge projects. This is the first project I did. First two. These are 9 by 8 murals. For the first time, Tara Art will carry an indicator of the status of these endangered creatures. So in each of these paintings and murals is a color code. Red is for extinction, yellow for the critically endangered, pink 
is vulnerable, which means it's at risk. Green is back to life, and blue is steady. Uh, for example, the Napoleon Rust. They take off. I have a, like a spoof type of painting. Big lips, sweetheart lips. They take that. Poachers would come take the lips because they sell that for like eight hundred dollars. And of course, we have the Tridacna, which I, it's kind of steady, but it isn't really because these are harvested for their shells. And so we come to this, and this is my daughter Ariel here. One of the most critically endangered, but it's being guarded religiously by a lot of people in Bohol, is the Tarshir, this wonderful, adorable creature which had lived for millions of years, was hunted and killed. So Tara art specifically focuses on these endangered animals and creatures. I want to at least create a dent in saving one, two of them, or the, most of them. Because what is it if these creatures are not around? I mean, you can do art for art's sake. You can have flying urinals. You can have cigarette butts like the, the wall of China. You can do free expression. You can do art for its value, for its shock value. But what does it mean? So this is the moment. And I do not wish to deride those art, those kinds of art, but this is a moment when this is so important. When I wanted tar art or targeted advocacy art to flourish so that it's important to bring awareness because artists have a social responsibility to care for a cause and my cause for now and maybe a timeless cause will be for species preservation and conservation. That's Tara Art.